A lot of people were hopeful that the Obi-Wan Kenobi series would be good, that they would get to see Ewan McGregor, that they would get to see Hayden Christensen back again, and that the story would make sense and respect what came before it. But unfortunately, in typical Disney Star Wars fashion, the fan base is completely split. You have some people that are singing the show's praises, saying it's the best Star Wars ever. It makes the original trilogy better. And of course, you have a lot of other people that are saying this is a complete and total disaster. But now the writer who came up with this story in the first place, before it got turned into a series, back when it was supposed to be a set of movies, is now speaking out and revealing some very interesting things about Lucasfilm, including the fact that they were so scared of releasing this in theaters after the failure of Solo that they scrapped the film idea and turned it in to a series. Obi-Wan Kenobi movie trilogy was planned before Disney+. Plus. Obi-Wan Kenobi is wrapped up on Disney+, Plus, bringing back Ewan McGregor as the titular character, telling the story of how he was forced off Tatooine between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, pitting him against his former Padawan learner, Darth Vader. Of course, we've gone over this time and time again, how so many of the things they did, the decisions they made in this series, uh, between the relationship between him and Leia being so close-knit, between him fighting Darth Vader multiple times, not killing Reva, not finishing off Anakin, all these things do not make sense in the story of Star Wars. But because a lot of people just want flashing lights and lightsabers and things that they recognize, of course, there's a lot of people who are just going to clap for it. Despite its success, a portion of the Star Wars fan base has Express the show would have been better as a standalone film. And a lot of people did say that, especially when they saw how boring a lot of this series was. And it's a different type of boring, right? I've always advocated that if they did this series right, it would be boring because it shouldn't be him traveling and gallivanting across the galaxy in a a heroic fashion. It should be a very small story about Obi-Wan Kenobi on Tatooine, contemplating things, protecting Luke. But of course, Disney wouldn't do something like this. And originally, that was Lucasfilm's plan. Uh, Stephen Daldry and Hassan Amini were brought in to direct and write the film before the project shifted into episodic format. Joby Harold, the guy who didn't even know that Darth Vader knew Obi-Wan before they started this series, he got brought in to write it. Now, the project's very first writers opened up about how the plan didn't just comprise of one feature, but three. Imagine a trilogy. Imagine how much damage that would do to continuity if they actually did a trilogy of Obi-Wan. Holy shit. In an exclusive interview, Obi-Wan Kenobi writer Stuart Beatty talked about his role in making the Ewan McGregor Star project. He was credited with a writer for episodes 1, 2, 3, and the series finale. He revealed he only wrote the screenplay for the original feature film the show was based on and never collaborated with anyone, while mentioning that the failure of Solo is the reason the Kenobi movie never got made. Right, so none, none at all. I wrote the film they based the show on, so I spent a year, year and a half working on it. Then, when the decision was made not to make any more spinoff films after Solo came out, I left the project, went on to other things. Joby came on, took my scripts, and turned it from two hours into six. So if you want to know why it does seem like a lot of what they did in it was kind of pointless, like they threw a lot of things in there just to kind of extend the runtime... That's probably exactly why they did it. These people have absolutely no fucking creativity. So I didn't work with them. I just got credit for the episodes because it was all my stuff. He also talked a little bit about the pitch he made to Lucasfilm and how it was supposed to be three stories, three standalone films that they were too scared to release in theaters. Think about that. Uh, Lucasfilm, Disney, they are too scared to make a movie about Obi-Wan Kenobi because of how bad Solo flopped, because of how little, how little belief they have in their ability to get people to come out to the box office. When you put these things on Disney+, Plus, you can run interference, you can put this stuff out there. No one really knows if they can consider it a success or not based on the streaming numbers they're getting, but they're just going to spin it as best they can. But that is what they decided to do instead of putting it out in a theater where everyone can look at the box office. Everyone can say, well, clearly this didn't resonate with people. And Beatty said he was devastated when he found out the project was no longer going ahead as a movie. It was just dying to be done, but unfortunately it's just, it was Solo that changed the direction of the system. I like Solo, but it hadn't made a lot of money. It's crazy in some ways to think about how it was directed by the best filmmakers working today, but since it didn't hit a certain number, they had to rethink. 
Obviously way above my pay grade, but it crushed us. Devastated, absolutely devastated. Glad the show got made. I'm proud of my story and I'm glad I got credit, but I wish they'd been able to make my movies. Now he would go on in detail actually some of his ideas for the first and second movies, for the first and second part of these stories, which honestly are a little bit interesting. Uh, the first movie obviously got made mostly into the show that we see, which overall I think some of the decisions, the plot points, the characters they use, complete and total disaster continuity wise. But if you do go and read this article, it is pretty interesting. He talks about the relationship between Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan maybe being developed in the second movie, which knowing Disney would just be in season two of Obi-Wan. Kenobi series if they do actually do that. Uh, but that is the type of thing, the relationship between him and Qui-Gon, him learning from Qui-Gon, accepting the fact that he might have to sacrifice himself at some point. Those are things they should be doing rather than him going across the galaxy, rather than everyone knowing that he's in touch with Bail Organa, that he has a relationship with Leia, all this shit that they decided to shove in there. And of course, all the Reva nonsense. If I were a betting man, I would say that this person, the Reva was not in this story at all. This was totally a Disney Plus thing that they threw in there, a character they created for this to put out. So they could market it that way, so they could call Star Wars fans racist. We all know what's been going on with that. But what do you guys think about the original writer coming out and saying, yeah, I mean, this is basically my movie. They just put a bunch of filler shit in there and they were too scared to put it out because of the failure that Solo was at the box office. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.